I have to go back to the cave. It's calling me like, come back, come back, come back in here. You want to just come in the cave. And I'm like, I do. I do want to come in the cave. It's your girl, the Gap Two Gaps, and I'm here with another one. Okay, so this is the Lemon Tech video. Um, it's nighttime. It's 8:30 p.m. It's Saturday, but see what had happened was I know I was supposed to do it early, but I've been packing my stuff, moving my stuff. Um, cause my mom moved out today. So I'm gonna show y'all. This is my stuff that I packed. Let me show you. So this all my stuff that I packed. That right there, I had to find an outfit. That's why it's out. But this is all packed. Everything, all of this stuff is mine. I don't know who bike that is. It's not mine. And then we go this way. I just vacuumed. This is my mom's room. I vacuumed her room. So she's gone today. So that's what kind of motivated me to start packing more of my stuff. So these just my work shoes, just some stuff I got, cleaning stuff I got from Family Dollar right here. I took my sheets off and everything um, to wash those. Then my, um, I just got my iron out to wash my uniforms. I'm putting that cricket away, so don't even worry about that. I'm gonna put my cricket away. I gotta get the box out for that. Then my office area. I know I still got my easel with my giraffe because I love my giraffe and my easel. And then, so, you know, this is just my makeup, all that stuff, which I'm about to be applying. So y'all can go with me in this kitchen to make the lemon tech. Let that sit out for a little while. And then, and while that's sitting out getting ready, I'm going to, um, do something with my hair. I'm about to wrap my hair up and stuff so y'all can see that process if y'all want. So I got my cups. We in the kitchen. Let me see where I'm gonna set y'all at. I should have brought my down. This is something I just had through on to go to Walmart real quick. You see the jiggle? So I, that's why I don't like wearing it because it'll be just too much. So I'm just coming from Walmart. And I got four lemons. I got my cup there. Where's my knives? I don't pack the damn knives. So I'm not even sure how many I'm supposed to use. I'm going to use all of them. I have some strong ass. I have some strong ass um, forearms. Okay, so that's two. Then. So professional. She done wrapped it up. I don't even got no knife, y'all. Ooh, a knife. Look what I found. <laughs> This is the grind it up albino A plus. It's already ground it down for me. Look at this. I'm gonna put the whole chunk in there.
That's good. Because the more lemon juice I put in, the more lemon juice I have to drink. We ain't trying to be zooming on that. Okay. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna let this sit and finish cleaning up just a little bit. It's not really nothing to do. Oh, I'm gonna do my, put my do-rag and stuff on. Yeah, so I'm gonna let that sit here and then put my do-rag on. Hopefully y'all can't see nothing. I ain't got no, my dress coming out. So I'm gonna let that sit. Okay, y'all, so I just finished it. After I let it sit for 30 minutes, I put on some smooth jazz, R&B instrumentals. I'm just gonna relax and see what, where it takes me. I put this hoodie on, because what better hoodie to put on than this one, okay? It look like you already tripping when you looking at it. So I'm gonna be back in a second, guys. I'm about to get comfortable getting in my room and I'll come back to you. Okay, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm just sitting in the showroom. room. I'm not feeling anything yet. I'm feeling, well, I'm feeling some familiar feelings of like the kind of um, woozy -ish, like woozy-ish feeling like drunk a little bit tipsy. Nothing too much. It's a little toasty up in this closet. But nothing yet, guys. I'm just sitting here. See my candles up there. But nothing yet so far. I'm just sitting here thinking about what I want to get out of it, truly. What I really want to get out of it. So I'll be back. This is different. This one is different than the last time. I feel it coming off strong. I feel so nauseous. And it's dark because I can't even have no light on. I can't have the light on. I can't move. I just even operating this phone was like hard to do. The phone is moving. It's jumping. And I couldn't even press play. The mu the buttons is moving. I just feel like I'm not supposed to be talking to y'all right now, like I can't explain it, but I just feel so heavy, so heavy. It makes you do stuff like, the last time it made my face kind of crunch up into a cry and just my eyes wouldn't stop crying. This time I feel like it's making my face go straight. Like, relax. Relax. And this is the exact moment, like, I was on the phone with my friend John before I talked to y'all. And the phone hung up on him. I'm, like, telling him, like, telling me I shouldn't be on the phone with you right now. I should just be relaxing. And the phone hung up. And I called it back and it wouldn't answer. Tell me y'all. I don't know how people be doing creative stuff. Anything. I 
just felt heavy. I just feel heavy. Can't do anything. It's just telling me to relax. I'll try to come back to y'all later. Hey y'all, so I know. I'm just now saying something about everything that happened. And don't mind my hair because my edges is faded out. So they're pink while the rest is dark pink. But they faded out. But I'm going to color that tonight after this. But I was just scrolling through my phone and then I saw the Lemon Tech video. I know I never put it up. Been meaning to put it up. But I never finished it off like doing what I'm doing right now. Like I did start a little bit. But... I never finished. I didn't like how it was turning out, so I just stopped. So, that's all the footage that I got the entire trip. That's all the footage I got. I couldn't have the light on. I couldn't see anything. I'm like this. Like, any light, like, even trying to look at my phone, like I told y'all, in it. Like, I just watched that back. That's my first time watching that. And it was just, like, bringing chills. I just started remembering, like everything i'm like yo that is just crazy like how it all happened but so i'm gonna tell y'all how it happened so like i said um earlier in the clip um my back itch, you know but like i said earlier in the clip um it was four grams of albino mushrooms and i did the lemon tech method which i used four lemons I just squeezed the lemons um, and then I put the four grams and I mixed it up real good and I let it sit for 30 minutes. After that, I took about three shots of it. So it was like, you know, a big gulp and it's the acid is killing me. Like, it's just so much. So um, I had did that or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, 15 minutes going by. And if you ever did mushrooms, you already know like how it start making you feel like heavy, drunk, kind of woozy, you feel nauseous. And I heard that the lemon tech method, you wasn't supposed to be getting nauseous like that. I was so nauseous more than the first time when I did the candy bar and the raw mushroom. It was way more nauseous. I couldn't even get out of the closet, out of my little showroom room. I could not get out. So I just was laying there and I had my cover, you know, and everything in there. And I had to stop talking to my friend, like come to find out his phone died, but I don't care how I interpret it at the time. I told him before his phone died, like that was the energy turning his phone off because it was like, I'm at the point right now where it should be sacred. It shouldn't be shared or whatever. I, I kept feeling that way. Like take this off. Don't say nothing else, you know, whatever. You about to go, you about to go off. So um, after I hung up with him, after I didn't have any more energy to do phone stuff. I could not look at the light on the phone. I just sat in the dark and I'm just like, oh my God, this damn, oh, oh my God, like, oh, yeah, like get over this nauseous feeling so I could get to, you know, where I'm trying to get. But I'm telling y'all, I don't know if this time it's because I did it at night or what, um, it was just different. Maybe it was a lemon tech method and she did say that it'll be, you know, stronger. Where I'm like, pss, pss, stronger, stronger. I ain't worried, Get, bring it on. But it was different. Like, it wasn't a bad experience. She was like, oh, you know, I'm sorry. You know, she was concerned because, I'm gonna get to that, but, um, it wasn't a bad experience for me. I actually, I can't wait to do it again for my birthday, like, which is October 17th. It's definitely coming up. So, yeah, but it was not a spiritual journey like the first time. I didn't feel it. It wasn't a feeling like how I was saying in the last video. I'm like, I feel it. I feel it. It was a vision. It was all visual. It was no feeling. It was all visual. It was all, you know, hallucin not even hallucinations, but... Or maybe it was. I really can't even tell you. I can't tell you whether I was asleep 
if I was awake, but I know I was not asleep. Like I'm trying to tell y'all because I'm consciously thinking things simultaneously. Like I'm thinking things. I wasn't like in a dream doing anything. I was thinking st different stuff, but how I got there was I'm laying down and it's like telling me get all the way under the cover. Like, you know how you under your cover, but your foot is out. I, if I feel any air, I, I had to be all the way under the cover. And it was like I was in a cave. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but it was like I was in a cave and I had to get completely under the cover for me to go wherever I was going. So soon as like I put my foot in and now I'm under the cover like a cocoon, I would take off and I'm just like seeing all these different things. And like, it was like, for one, I know I saw when, like, we live in our everyday lives, you know, we going to work, we walking down the street, we doing regular hustle and bustle stuff or whatever. I saw that, but then I saw it was like a camera kind of like zoomed out and then we were just an anthill. Like, we, this is our world in our own world. Like, it's not even, this is not it. It's way bigger than any of this. And it was just crazy to see that. I also saw our spirits again, like our energy hopping from body to body and living simultaneously right now. I'm living another life, like not just this life. I saw all of that and it's just like, like I was in it, like going here. Like, I don't even know how to explain like what it was. It was just like my 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 energy would hop out of my body, travel around like zoo, 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 all through, you know, whatever, and then zoom, into another body, doing something else, living that life. And it was just like all at one time, you know what I mean? It's all right now. It's just, it's just crazy to even, I can't even really explain for people who never done shrooms, but it was definitely all visual. And I know I saw, and I only shared this with one person, but I'm like, you know, I'm going to tell them. And it's not even like, because I don't want to scare nobody off from trying it or anything like that. It wasn't bad at all. But I saw myself die or I, fe I felt myself die, like not pain or nothing like that, but I felt it. And it was like, I remember saying, I'm like, I don't want to be away from Zari. Like, that's sad. That's a sad way to go. Like. You know, I, I don't remember how it was. I know I seen, I saw it and I, I felt like I was, you know, whatever. But I'm like thinking at the same time, that's how I know I wasn't asleep. Cause I was thinking like, what am I getting out of this? What is this trying to tell me? Like just constantly telling myself that, what is this trying to tell me? What am I seeing? What am I getting out of this? And I really don't feel nervous. I don't feel scared about anything because I already know that we go on. I'm not speaking nothing up or doing any of that. I just know we go on, so it's not anything to fear in your life. So I feel like not speaking on this, speak, whatever. It don't put, you know, whatever. So I definitely got that as me like dying, the old me, and not even the old you because there is no old you. You are you, you are who you are. It's just like the past me of thinking basically is like, gone like i just be so uncomfortable with the everyday hustle and regular shit that you do every day i'm tired of it like i know it's more out here and it's like you ever seen somebody kind of like you like you reaching for it and it's like right there you know what i mean it's just like right there and that's what i feel like it's just like kind of you know i know we are where we are supposed to be right now but I just want it so bad and I just see that for myself I see that for Zari and that's just what I feel I don't know I don't even know I'm on a just babbling I don't even really know what I was saying but I just want more period anyway so another thing y'all oh my god so I'm traveling out of my body going all these places in my cave right and it's like i kept backing and you know you saw my shroom room it's not it wasn't too big like probably seven feet long 
four feet wide. That's a huge closet. Seven feet, whatever, by four. Um, and I could just feel by four feet. It's probably by five. Seven by eight. I don't know. But anyway, um, I could feel myself like going back, like under the cover, crunching back and back. And I can go further and further and further in the closet. Like it wasn't just that room. I can go further and further and further. And I'm just going back and back and back, moving back. And then it's like, um, you know, I was like in a cave and I was going to different realms and realms, like deeper and deeper into it, the more further back I went into the cave. But I would feel my spirit floating back to my body and then boom, back into my body. And I was open my eyes and I'm like, I have to shit. Because like, if y'all ever seen any of my other videos, hopefully you have, y'all need to support, period. Um, then you know, I have Crohn's disease, which is a intestines problem. Okay, and I'm going to do a video about Crohn's another time. But right now, I'm talking about the shrooms. But it all played an effect because, like I said earlier, I cannot be <laughs> drinking lemon juice. Crohn's acid don't mix. It does not mix. So I had five shit attacks that night in the shrooms. And then on top of that, it lasted from 9.30 p.m. until 5.30 a.m. That whole time. And then I will be in La La Land in another universe. And then slam back to my body. Shit attack. I didn't shit on myself. I thought I did. But I didn't. Um, and then like I had said. She did. She was concerned. Because I had finally mustered up enough strength to be like. You're trying to kill me. She was like, whoa, no, what happened? This and I'm like, no, nah, I'm playing, but I, you know, having the, the shit attack. So, girl, you know, I got Crohn's. This ain't come with no damn side effects um, list. Like, but now nah, I'm like, you know, um, she was like, oh, no, I'm so sorry to hear that, this and that. But I'm like, nah, it's not even a bad experience. But she was definitely concerned. She's a good a good person like I said before but she was so concerned but I had to hear her like I think I shit on myself she was like what's happened oh my god you have me so worried I'm like false alarm like nah I didn't my bad I just checked <laughs> it was like was that a dream did I go to the toilet like is this real what's going on like did I use the bathroom did I not like did I even have a shit attack or is this all in my head I was having shit attacks, okay? And then when I go in the bathroom, I would be like, is it like what? I don't know what time it is. I can't even see, you know, because the lights, I'm like, just sitting there on the time, I'm just looking. Then I'm just like, yeah, I'm still there because the, um, I'm like, because the floor is, woo, the floor was like, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm definitely still there. The toilet paper was like, Ooh. it wasn't just sitting there. It was like, like waving in the wind. It wasn't even no wind. I'm looking around. I'm like, so it ain't no wind. So I know I'm still there because why is the ground like? So right after that the attack, I would have to run back to my room. I mean, run back to my clock, my cave because i couldn't even go in my room now y'all saw how my room was set up it's like the my walk-in closet right there the bathroom in my room i can't even go i have to go back to the cave it's calling me like come back come back come back in here you want to just come in the cave and i'm like i do i do want to come in the cave so i went in the cave obviously so then i wake i come back to my body again another attack so that happened five times and i'm like yo it's now five like how is this still the ground is still swimming pop locking and dropping it and the toilet paper is still waving at me like bro i saw you the first time like you still waving so i knew i was still there and um, it finally, I had finally 
because I had a headache, so I knew I wasn't sleeping. I was like up, like. But after that, I went to sleep. When I woke up, I was okay. But I was definitely interpreting it for a long time, and I don't think, like, you see, my nose is shiny. Like you can see up my nose. I have one of them noses, but people be liking my nose. So anyway, um, I definitely got good stuff out of it. Um, I don't feel like I it was a bad trip. I didn't have like no nightmares. I wasn't scared of anything. And I was conscious of what I'm like, okay, what am I getting out of this? It wasn't like, am I on shrooms? I'm losing my mind. Who am I? Nothing like that. So I definitely think it was a good experience. It was all phys it was more, you know, physical and physical, definitely physical. Um, but more visual than emotional like the first time i really enjoyed the first time because of the spiritual connection and that's what i wanted to get this time but i didn't really get that much of it but it still was good um i'm sorry i couldn't have more live footage like my previous videos and that's why i was even hesitant on um, posting this because it's like who wants to you know i had a dark video and then it's me explaining what happened, but I mean, I feel like it's good. And this is, I can literally tell y'all, like, it was a good time. Um, I can't wait to do it again. My birthday is in what, a couple of weeks. Oh my God, I'm gonna be 31. That's gonna be the 31. I can't even believe it. Like, this 30 went by so quick and it was 2020, so I really don't feel like it count that much. So I'm really gonna be 30 in COVID years. I'm 30. So. That's it, y'all. I finally just did this video. I should have been did it. I'm sorry it took me so long. But, yes, I can't wait for another. I can't wait for another experience. No more lemon tech because of my Crohn's um, and the burning. And it was just horrible. Horrible. Um, so, no more lemon tech. But it was a good time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your girl, the Gap 2 Goddess. And I, I stutter. No! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's the Gap Two Goddess in them. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Mm.